hello seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it's always such a blessing to have you right back here today's reading is for aries aries it is your day to shine please go ahead and shine bright like a diamond also please make a friendly note that if today's reading does not resonate to your present situation please do not get hurt offended or in your feelings it only simply means that today's reading is not for you but However, if you come back a different day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, don't just watch me do these readings now. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn the notification on so that way you will always be the first to be notified each and every time that I upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up, y'all. Because what happens when you thumbs up the videos? YouTube will see that you like the videos. And they will push them into a much wider audience, bigger, wider audience, and the channel and the video will grow. It will grow. So just go ahead and, and thumbs up the videos and just allow the videos to just go out into a much wider audience so that the channel will not go flat. The videos will not go flat, okay? And I definitely won't, don't want to go flat along with those two things, okay? So please, y'all, go ahead and thumbs up the videos, all right? For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all the love and support that you show each and every day. I see the love, and obviously, I'm embracing all that good love, all that good energy. I send back towards you, okay? All that energy. Know that the cards has been shuffled, and the card has been shuffled. The card has been shuffled, and the card has been blessed, okay? But before I get into the readings, I always have to say a prayer first, all right? Two of swords here. Decision time. Always have to say a prayer first just to um get my blessings um that I need from the, the higher power and the messages to share with you. The seekers for the ones that need to know. So let's get into a prayer and let's get into, into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, as that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please stand on your most powerful angels to take charge over today's reading. Using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the seekers for the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and I give you all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull some messages here. And then I'm going to get some clarity. Um, forward movement. Know that the reading could be um, in reverse. It could also go for one of my cross watchers. And this is a general one. So take it as it resonates to you. If you have to put one, two, and three together, the reading is not for you. I do upload at least three videos every single day. So please make a note of that. Just come back, right? Simple. Just come back. Don't have to get upset about it and all. Get all hyped about it in the comment section. Just come back. It's not for you, boo. Okay? All right. Messages, please. Messages, please. Messages, please for Aries. What do you need Aries to know? Aries, please. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, energy. All right, energy is coming in, and I see why my candle shift for this one, okay? The energy that came in, someone is saying that the sex wasn't really as good as you think. Someone I see was putting a whole lot of energy in, but someone wasn't feeling it as much as the other person was feeling it. The energy wasn't on point. Somebody was putting in the work, but the work was not as good as you thought the work was, right? It wasn't as good, all right? So don't flatter yourself is what they're saying. I see someone that said, don't flatter yourself because it wasn't even as good as you think it was, okay? I probably faked it more than half the time here. I lied, yeah. <laughs> I lied to you because the truth would have ended us. So someone is saying that don't flatter yourself about this sex that you're thinking it was the bomb. Oh, I, you know, you think you're all that with that thing, all right? Someone is saying here, and I feel this energy is your energy, all right? Your energy, I feel, is coming through very strong here. Strong to the point where I almost flicked my, my candle over. The truth is, I lied to you because the truth would have ended us. If I had told you that the sex was really, really bad, you would have felt really bad about yourself. You would have probably cried if I told you that the sex wasn't as good as you thought it was. I had to lie to you just to spear your feelings. But honestly, honey, don't flatter yourself because uh, the sex was driving me crazy. It was it was a mess, a hot mess and 10 skips, okay? I lied to you because the truth would have ended us. 
Oh, man. Messages, please. Messages, messages, messages. Let me have some messages here. Messages, please. I'm sure there's a reason why we met, though. <laughs> Apart from the sex was whack in the sack. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why God put you in my life. All right. Messages, please. Messages, please. All right, reason, reason. I'm sure there is a reason why God puts you in my life, even though I had to deal with boring making love situationship. I'm just tired of looking for you in the cold, in cold places, is what someone is saying here. And again, I feel like this energy is your energy. I feel like um your person here is going places, doing things that is really kind of turning you off. Um, putting you into some situationship and you're kind of tired of those situationship. But someone is saying here, you're really disrespectful in every way. Yeah. I feel this person disrespected you. And I also feel this is also your energy coming through once again. Um, saying here loud and clear that you're just, you're just tired of looking for your person in cold places. Cold places could be with other people's bed. Okay. Um, doing sneaky link ups, um, going back and forth with people's emotion, your emotion. Um, I feel, I feel like this person did disappoint you because your energy is coming through and it's telling me that you're saying you're really disrespectful in every way. So your person is very disrespectful to you. Yeah. They're going sleeping around in other people's bed, doing some shit, going to some places where they should not have been to. And I feel for some of you probably did kind of let your person know that, listen, I'm not happy with A, B, C, and D, and they're still going around fucking around with A, B, C, and D is what I'm feeling here. Very disrespectful. I feel like they didn't care about the way you really felt. Um, they just went ahead and did it anyway. You know what I mean? Um, you fulfilled my needs at times. All right, so they did fulfill your needs at times, but they sure was not fulfilling the bedroom department, though loud and clear okay maybe they were helping you financially all right maybe this person was helping you financially but they definitely was not helping out your sexual needs the way that you wanted to very dissatisfied is what i'm feeling here but the person was very dis disrespectful okay and this is all your energy coming through and just let me have some uh, messages here please some clarity here please Forward movement, forward movement here, please. Decision time. Um, what's going on here with um, Aries, Aries person, please. Messages here, please. Closure here, please. Let me have some closure here. Forward movement here, please. I feel like this person does help in some way. Apart from the, the sexual part of the relationship is really not going in the formation as you would like it to. I do feel like this person does make you happy at one point, okay? I feel like this person is a good provider is what I'm feeling in the sun here. I'm also seeing here in the chariot here though that... This person is moving really slow, very slow into whatever it is that you really truly need, very slow. And I also feel like you do not need to wait for whatever that is, it is that you are really desiring, really wanting, where you, where you, what you might have been asking for for so long. I feel like this person is not giving that to you here in the chariot, okay? They're coming towards you very, very, very slow. I feel like I don't need you to wait any longer. Um, but they're, I, so, I don't know why I feel like this person might not be with you right now. I feel a little separation going on. If they have not already moved out, there's definitely a disconnection here. Okay. That's definitely a disconnection because I feel like this person is coming back. Someone is coming back. That's what I'm feeling here. Ace of Wands here. 
Yep, new beginning, honey. New beginning here in the Ace of Wands here. Um, I feel like someone's ready to start over. Maybe start over um, with this someone new, with this new beginning here. Someone is ready to end something maybe and start something new. I also feel like there's a pregnancy situation coming in for sure. Someone is either pregnant or has gotten someone else pregnant. But I do see a situation of a uh, new life here coming in. Page of Pentacles. And the Eight of Cups here came in, in reverse. I see in the Page of Pentacles, I'm feeling like someone wants to talk. This person might want to talk to you about what had happened. Someone's coming in, wants to talk. Wants to fix things is what I'm feeling here in the Page of Pentacles. But however... In the Eight of Cups here, I feel like they left you. Yep, they left. Yep, the separation that I felt here, they did leave here. Okay, someone left. Someone left. Your person left you. They left you, okay? I'm seeing here where they, where they walked away. They left. King of Knight of Cups. Person is tricky. I feel like they kind of tricked you about some shit here. Because it did say here that they were very disrespectful in every way. I feel like this person might be a fraud. Why well, do I feel like they might be conning people and shit? I don't know. I hope to God they're not. But I feel like in the Knight of Cups here, I see some fraud activity going on here. Some tricky, sneaky shit going on here. Don't ask me what that is. So, something like that. Something's coming in the Knight of Cups here. Some. Some fraud type of shit here in the reverse, okay? Fraud. Fraudulent activities. The death card came up. A lesson has been learned. Lesson learned. But I do feel like maybe you have blocked this person. Or this situation that is coming towards you from their energy has been blocked. But something has been blocked here. Okay? Something has definitely been blocked here. The moon in reverse here, okay? Your person made a mistake. They did make a mistake with you, though. And the mistake that they made was being very disrespectful towards you, okay? Very disrespectful towards you, lying. Lying and doing some sneaky shit here. Page of Cups here in reverse, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. Um, I do feel like they want to apologize, though. They, they be thinking about apology here. In the reverse, they are definitely um holding back, though. They want to apologize, but I feel like they're holding back that apology. Okay? But the apology is coming, but the apology, I think, won't be one of a sincere kind of apology. I feel like this that apology is coming. It's going to be an apology of what you really want to hear. Are they sincere with the apology? No. Okay. Yep, walking away. I definitely see um where they walked away. There was a whole lot of things going on though with this um five of wands here. A whole lot of bullshit was going on here. Um I see a lot of argument and conflicts here in the emperor here. This older energy is very stubborn. This is an older kind of an energy. And they're very stubborn and it's stuck in their way. Very, very stubborn. Extremely stubborn. Here, I don't listen to that, what you say. This already brings you a whole lot of heartache and stuff. But I feel like here, okay, in the Nine of Swords here, it's time that you let go of the situation. Let go of your fear. Anything that you had felt. Um, cause I feel like someone felt very ashamed about what happened. Um, you you didn't listen to your suspicion. You had some suspicions about what was going on here. Um, with this person, um, you felt doubt from the very beginning. It kind of surfaced to the top, if that makes any sense. But it's time that you let go of this and just kind of move on from it. This person is in denial is what I'm feeling here. Big case denial. Now that is your reading for today, my darlings. I hope it did resonate with you. If it did, please let me know your situation ship down below. Also, remember to pray because prayer works all the time. But most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find.